Hi, Carl here for Pro V TV, and just in case you can't tell, I'm not in the showroom today. I'm actually at the headquarters of Canon UK to take a look at this, the new XC15. I really do want to thank Canon for letting us come here and have a look at this. I think we're actually one of, if not the first people in the UK to get a hands-on demo with the camera. So a huge thank you to Canon for that. So what is the XC15? Well, it's essentially a sibling camera to this, the original XC10, and the main difference is fairly obvious. The XC15 lets you attach a module here on the top, which gives you two full locking XLR connections. This is a huge bonus. The original XC10 has fantastic broadcast quality, even 4K video, but it was let down a bit by only having a 3.5 millimeter jack input for your microphones. So having the option to use XLR microphones with phantom power and locking connections on the XC15 really is a massive step up for audio. Plus, because it uses a cable and a removable module, it means that you can disconnect it when you're not recording sound and make the camera just as small and light and convenient as the original XC10 was. So the audio isn't the only change though. They've also adjusted the gamma settings to bring them more in line with the rest of Canon's video lineup, which is great to see as the XC15 could be a really nice B camera for C100 and C300 shooters. Plus you now get a waveform tool, which means you can nail your exposure easier. I really like Canon's waveforms. Each manufacturer shows waveforms slightly differently, and I've always personally found Canon's the easiest to read. It's only a small thing, but it does make quite a difference when you're out there filming. Autofocus is the same as it is on the X-T10, but it's worth remembering that the X-T10 has been updated fairly recently. The autofocus was already quite good when I tested it last year, but it was a bit slow sometimes. It's still a little slower than the C300 Mark II is, for example, but it's definitely quicker than it was. And more importantly, once it starts to focus, it hits that focus dead on. There's no searching back and forth, which can be a problem with some cameras autofocus. This ca these cameras are definitely designed to be used with autofocus, and you shouldn't have a problem relying on it when you're out there filming. If you do have the XE10, you should definitely make sure you're using the latest firmware, as its updates have definitely improved the camera. It's well worth checking which firmware you're on. Video is much the same as the XE10. You get 4K in fantastic broadcast quality XF-ABC format, recorded at 305 megabits a second to fast CFast2 cards. Or you can have nicely downsampled 1080p video to the SD cards. Canon are very proud of the 1080p downsampling in this camera, and for good reason. If all you need is 1080p, you will be very happy with the image from these cameras. So let's take a closer look at the big standout feature of the XC15, this XLR adapter. It's actually the existing MA400 adapter, which was designed for the C300 Mark II, which is why it's got this funny second shoe mount sticking out of the back. As you'd expect from a C300 accessory, it's very sturdy and very well made. The controls are easily accessible here on the top, and the locking up XLRs are here on the side. This is being filmed right now on the C300 Mark II, and the audio is being recorded using a Sennheiser AVX system. So let's swap the setup over to use the XC15 so that you can hear if there's a noticeable difference. So we're now filming on the XC15 using the same Sennheiser AVX wireless audio kit. This is exactly the sort of setup where you're going to want to be using the XC15 over the XC10. With the XC10, I would have had to use adapters to connect to that 3.5 mm jack, relied on the weak preamps inside the camera to record the sound, and adjusted my levels in a menu. Now with the XC15, we can plug the receiver straight into the XLR and set the levels exactly where we want them using a nice dial. The audio should sound a lot better as well. So that's about it for now. Hopefully I'll be able to release some test footage from the XC15 and compare it a bit to the XC10. It hopefully shouldn't be too long before the cameras start to ship and we can get one in our showroom. So if you want me to test anything else, just let me know in the comments section below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help us out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.